Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Posty Free video. We're going to be talking about Sony's conference this time. We're going to be looking at the good, the bad and we're going to be rating the conference at the end as well. So let's start off with the conference starting with the good points. And we're going to start by saying that how Sony kicked Microsoft's ass. Yeah, they really did. They The only reason they did because they answered a lot of concerns of, of what everybody wanted to know really. Yeah. That's, I think that completely changed the whole conference for everybody, didn't it? So, yeah, by saying things that uh, you can use use games and there's no on or always online connectivity or anything like that, that completely changed everything. So, yeah, and then the price as well, just beat Microsoft. I think the price was, you know, a huge, a huge selling point for for Sony. Yeah, um, I'm really glad that they said the price was going to be cheaper than the Xbox. Obviously, a lot of people will be as well. Three hundred ninety-nine dollars US, three hundred forty-nine pounds UK, and three hundred ninety-nine euros, which is fantastic, fantastic news. Yeah, three hundred fifty pounds is a perfect price compared to four hundred twenty-nine for Microsoft. They got a minute's applause as well when they said that price. <laughs> they really did just do everything perfect on, on answering the questions. It's like they, they drifted onto it so like naturally and they just said everything at one point. And I swear mm -hmm. for about five minutes they didn't say anything else because people were still cheering. <laughs> it was really good. I was really happy that, that they said these kind of things. And that that's what Microsoft should have done where they didn't. Yeah. PlayStation really did well in doing that. Yeah, they were like, oh, we don't have 24-hour connection, online connection. It's just like ah. they're just just aiming it right at Microsoft. They they pretty much chopped Microsoft's ass off and gave it back to them. <laughs> it's fantastic. Brilliant. Also, the the video after as well after the show where they showed how to trade games <laughs> with your friends. The step obviously that step video one. is going to be a complete troll. Yeah. But then the video lasted so long at the intro, and then it's just like five seconds. Here's your game sorted. <laughs> yeah. And they're just smiling at the camera. It's funny. It's really nice to see Sony have this head start as well because the PS3 um, did struggle at the start because it was a year later, it was priced more than the 360. So it's really good that Sony ahead because I did really love the PS2 and the PlayStation 1. I grew up with those consoles, so. I think one of the main talking points as well is going to be the, the fact that they showed the console for the first time. Oh, yeah. Huge, huge selling point. The and it actually looks, looks like fantastic. a console. Exactly, yeah. It looks amazing. Well, it's. It looks good. I would say it looks amazing for, for what it is. Um, it's a completely different concept to what you expect. And it's similar size to the PS3 Slim as well. So it's not really big and bulky like the Xbox One is. It looks like two PS2 Slims put together. <laughs> which is <laughs> nice. Just, just like put one back on each other so it's slanted a little bit. It looks really good. I, I like it. The, the blue line in the middle of it as well. Anything about it. That I miss is the PlayStation logo is not on it. The little logo they have, the coloured logo, oh, that's actually me. missing. But <laughs> but this is actually that's, colour to it. That's not really a problem though, is it? <laughs> Let's just hope that blue line doesn't turn red when it breaks down. <laughs> I don't think that will happen. <laughs> the red line of death. It's not going to be like the Xbox how it had the red ring of death. Not the red ring of death, is it? Yeah, it is. Death. Oh, it is worth being deaf, yeah. Um, I never had that with my Xbox, so... I did. <laughs> everyone did. <laughs> everyone, had a, everyone had problems with their Xboxes. Something else to mention about the console as well, it's going to be region free, which is fantastic news. So you can buy it anywhere in the world, and you can use it anywhere in the world. Any games to play on it, fantastic. It's awesome. Xbox it's One, it's region one. locked. Exactly, yeah. That's. I think that's a really good selling point for it as well. So if you find a price of a game cheaper in a different country, you can use it on your console in your country. So that's really good. I like that. They showed off a bunch of games as well. Um, a, a few exclusives this time. The the new exclusives we, we saw was um, The Order, which was just a cinematic trailer, which the concept of it looks really good, and I, and I would like to see more of that game, actual gameplay in the future. Yeah. Look forward to that. But they, they showed previous games that they showed before, like Killzone, Infamous, um, the was it the club, that racing game? Uh, drive, drive club, drive club, drive club, which you get for free if you're a PlayStation Plus member. We'll go into that in a minute, though. <laughs> oh, will we now? Yes, we will. 
But um, overall, they showed a lot of games that were not really exclusive to PlayStation. Um, a few of them were Destiny, which looks which looks really good. Looks brilliant. Yeah. That That's game. Fantastic about this. It looks like Borderlands, but similar to that. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It looks a bit like yeah. Borderlands. Maybe futurist, futuristic approach to it. They'll show Batman. A bit of Batman. That game looks, looks really good as well. Watch Dogs gameplay. Looks brilliant, as it has always. Um, Assassin's Creed 4, which has some sound issues, which was and um, and crashing issues, which was a bit annoying. Which I think it was just getting to the climax and it just suddenly ended, which was disappointing. Um, Final Fantasy 15, Kingdom Hearts 3, which I know a lot of people want to see Kingdom Hearts 3, which they were so excited about. And a game that really shocked me was Elder Scrolls Online, actually on the consoles. Um, and it's going to have a beta for PS4 first, which was a shock. Good trailer for that. I think something else to mention with the indie support as well. That's quite good. Yeah, yeah, they they do some awesome indie support. I think that's that's a really good thing for consoles, especially if um, I think maybe they might be putting Daisy onto the console as well. That might be something to put into that as well. It's really yeah. good. I like that. Yeah, I liked how they showed a lot of indie games as well on stage, all at once. Uh, the one with the I think the squid looks funny, octopus. Sony had a hell of a lot of games to show off, and in the time that they had, you know, they had to show all the games that they had to show off, and that's it kind of dragged out a little bit. Um, mm. But I'm glad that they showed off all these games because that's really important if they want to sell their new console. Yeah, they weren't they weren't exclusives a lot of them, but they were showing that their game that their console supports a lot of these games. You know, they've got a lot of multi platform support from yeah. the third party. What I think is quite important is a bit about PlayStation Plus. Um, they mentioned obviously pricing and things like that. Um, the fact that you get free games and they've they've tr they're trying to improve it. And I like the look of PlayStation Plus now. It's it's getting better, and that's what I like. Yeah, when PlayStation Plus was first announced, I thought, oh, that's not really worth it. But over time, you're seeing that it is worth it, and it and it offers a lot compared to what Xbox gives you. Xbox is just really. You just use it to, so you can play online, really, and interact with your friends. But the, the fact that PlayStation Plus gives you um, an instant game collection, that's even better. That's fantastic. You're getting all mm. these games, and you always have something to do. Whereas with Xbox, you obviously they're given a couple of games, but they're not given as many as you know Sony. It's great. Um, when Obviously, when um, the PS4 comes out, the PlayStation Plus members from PS3 is going to swap over to PS4 as well. Um, and members get Drive Club for free as well, which is really good. Um, so a fantastic new game that Sony have just unveiled. They're giving it to you for free, which is great. <laughs> yeah. Great news. So overall, Sony just kicked ass and a lot of good points there. Their conference was really good. Um, I think we'll move on to the bad points now, which I've, I've only got one. And that, that I've was... got a couple. you got a couple. I just thought the pacing, as always... Is, is a lot slower than the others and like I did get a bit bored they they tend to talk a lot and their intros are, are really long and that, that's that just was one it. of my points so that's one down <laughs> yeah I just the like, was they yawning a lot of the times but uh, just they just need to improve their pacing yeah I, I think because they had quite a lot of games to show off that's what dragged it out a little bit more um but there's nothing you can really do about that because they had so much to do you know you have to sit through it and I think moving on to the next point, being late as well, was it 15, 20 minutes late? Oh, they're always late, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes. For people in the UK, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning and you want to go to bed soon, right? We we were up to like half four watching this bloody conference. <laughs> Where we, we were supposed they're always to, like... late. Every E3, they are always late, Sony. That's a good point. I actually forgot that. I think it was quite annoying, especially because we hit four o'clock and we were like, yeah, it's going to start in a minute. Obviously, we were really tired. It was quite late. And then they're, they're just like dragging it out on their live stream. You know, Sony's going to start in a minute. Sony's going to start in a minute. And it took ages. Yeah. I said to you, I reckon they'd be late. They're always late. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, something else, which is quite, it's, it's quite major for anyone who wants to buy the console, um, is the PS4 lag as well. Obviously, they were playing a few demos, and there was a little bit of lag on a couple of games, like Destiny. Yeah. Not sure if that's like to do with the console, the game, FPS lag, overheating. I think that was just to do with the con conference. I don't think that was the, the, the console itself. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 
they were like projecting it on the screen. Maybe the computer lacked or something that's, I don't know, projecting it. I, I don't know. I think it happened on the same console, though. It happened on the same screen twice. Yeah. So I think it was just to do with that. Yeah. It happened on an indie game in Assassin's Creed. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would be anything to do with the console. It's it's powerful enough to handle these games, so I doubt there would be a problem. But if there is, they still have time to correct these problems. And it's not it's not a really big problem, but because all consoles freeze all the time, don't they? So, mm -hmm. so rounding off the video, we have a rating to actually mention, <clears throat> and I think this one's going to be quite interesting. I reckon you're going to copy me again. You know. You give me yours you're... first. I reckon you're going to say the same as me. No, 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 no. You go first. Go first. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to give mine a nine. Ooh. Is that the same as yours? <laughs> no. Um, they showed off the console. They said quite a lot about um, DRM. They had really good announcements. The PlayStation Plus, really good things about that. Uh, they kicked Microsoft's ass. That's, that's obviously the main key bit for me as well. Um, the the bad points they don't mention. They don't really bother me that much um but yeah definitely a nine okay well i'm gonna give him a 10 <laughs> oh, it's bonus, a no-brainer right? <laughs> really yeah it's, it's a no-brainer i mean they did everything right it was a bit boring but that's, that's about it everything else was perfect they've got the exclusives they've got all the games there they've got a perfect console perfect price they answered the questions that the community were asking it, it was just perfect for them and they just won e3 because of it so feel bad I gave him a Ten. 9 now. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I upgrade my score to a 10? <laughs> no. No. Not alone. <laughs> if, if there were no bad points, I would give it a 10. But because, you know, it was a bit slow at points, and it was a bit late, obviously, because they they were late and things like that, that's what gave it a 9. But 9.5. Yeah. <laughs> the, the questions they answered, the games they showed, were just, just overshadow those bad points, so... For me, I would say Sony's out of the like, out of the Xbox and the Sony conference. Definitely, Sony's the best one. Yeah. Um, out of the games ones with like uh, EA and Ubisoft, I would say EA. <laughs> yeah, but Sony's was only better because they answered the questions where Microsoft didn't. If Microsoft would have just, you know, got rid of the DRM, got rid of the whole used games thing, and dropped the price, I think they would have been on even even footing. Yeah, I I think like. The problem, my the problem Microsoft have is they go on the stage and they just they say let's do this, get the job done, and then come off the stage. Whereas Sony, it seemed like they cared a lot more about you know the consumers, and that's that that was a really key point. Mm. Microsoft was all about using big words, short sentences, quick words, get off. You know, Sony were detailed about the community and what what they wanted to do for you, kind of thing. So to wrap up the video, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. We have more post E3 videos on our channel as well, so check them out. And we will see you next time. See you later.